by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I am not unmindful that some of you have come here out of great trials and tribulations. Some of you have come here fresh from narrow jail cells. And some of you have come here from areas where your quest, quest for freedom, has left you battered by the storms of persecution and staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have been the veterans of creative suffering. Continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama. Go back to Louisiana. Go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities, knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair, I say to you today, my friends. And so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that this nation will live out the true meaning of its creed. I have a dream that my four little children will live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream that even in the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that even in Alabama, with his vicious racist, with his governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, one day, right there in Alabama, little black boys and little black girls will be able to join hands with the little white boys and little white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that every hill and valley shall be made low. This is our hope, and this is the faith that I will go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. And this will be the day, this will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with a new meaning. My country, tis the be, sweet land of liberty, of be I sing, Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims' pride, from every mountainside let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let Freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. But not only that. Let freedom ring from the stone mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from the lookout mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and molehill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, and when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty we are free at last. Thank you.